Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Hyatt Buick GMC in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out a 2015 Buick Regal in red. And this is a pretty loaded up model um, that they have here on the lot that has quite a few features. So let's check it out. So here in the front, we've got we've got the HID projector headlights. You can see it has the projector tubes there. It also has the fog lights in the bottom. And it's got the classy, and now this one's a little bit of a smoked out grill. Uh, some of them are shiny. This one has a little bit of a, a darker look. And I think it accents the, uh, the red color very well. Now this one rolls on 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. It's got a set of Michelin tires on it. And one of the features this car has is remote start. Here's the key right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure it's locked by pushing the lock button. And almost immediately uh, push the remote start button. And hold it until the engine starts. Now I'm going to unlock the doors. Now this one has the, uh, the ability to um, just have the key in your pocket and push this button here to lock and unlock the doors. Um, so that's one another feature. So here's the inside of the, um, the passenger door. You'll notice it's like a tan brown mixture, two-tone colors, as well as a uh, like an oak, dark oak wood grain trim. And then you've got the like the metal color there as well. Now this is a soft touch. Most everything is soft touch where your your arm uh, is resting there. It does have the premium Bose sound system with nine speakers in this vehicle, which sounds awesome. It does have an eight-way power adjustable passenger seat as well as driver's seat with the lumbar support. There's the glove compartment with a has a felt lining. You see you've got plenty of room there in the front leg room and stuff. Now let's check out the back. Now the seat's all the way back, so you can see, um, you know, about where your your leg room is. It's not too bad, uh, considering not everybody drive, you know, rides in the front seat with the seat all the way back. But um, and of course the seats are high quality leather back here as well. And you've got this thing right here that folds down. You got cup holders, and you got a little storage pocket there. This seat also folds down in case you need some more. Uh, stored like a um, cargo capacity if you pick up something from a store or whatever over here is a uh, 150 watt power supply sort of like you would see uh, an edison plug uh, and that way you can plug in now this is not going to power like a hair dryer or anything like that but it will power uh, like plug in and charge your cell phone or a laptop or something like that and then you got that little pocket right above it. You also have pockets on the back of the seats as well. There's the inside of the, the back door. Here's the gas cap. And uh, basically, when you un unscrew it, it has this little plastic line here. You can run it across this little, um, this little hanger here and you can hang down your cap so that way it doesn't uh, heat against your uh, shiny paint. Now this has, this does have the four cylinder engine but it does have the dual exhaust here in the back which looks pretty cool. And in addition to that um, it has the parking sensors here in the back. You see these little circles here. And then th those are uh, ultrasonic sensors, I believe, to where if you get if you're backing up and you get too close to something, it's going to beep at you and uh, you know get your attention. You also have the the backup camera. There's the lens there as well. So you got a lot of a lot of safety features to avoid backing into things. So I'm going to actually just use the key here to open up the trunk. So I'm going to push and hold it, and you'll notice it goes all the way up. 
and that way you can you walk right up to it and access the trunk without you know fumbling with lifting it up and all that stuff especially if your hands are full there's a cargo net here there's the floor mats they are brown in color um, under here is your spare tire which you will have to move the net to get to but you got plenty of room here in the trunk especially with the seats falling down close that alrighty so uh, checking out the side mirrors you'll notice this little car with a little thing there that's telling you it does have like a blind spot monitoring system it has sensors here on the side of the car to where if a vehicle is in your blind spot uh, it will alert you um, and also if you especially if you try to change lanes here's the inside of the driver's door it is basically a mirror of the other side except for a few more buttons um, this one has the button to open up the trunk right there you also have um, your door window controls for the front and back your door lock controls are here and your side mirror adjustments uh, you just choose the side and then you can adjust it it does have automatic headlights and um, and a dimmer switch there now the seat is a powered seat it does have uh, two memory uh, positions there that you can set there's the controls there for the power seat so I'm gonna hop in and now since I use the remote start I still have to push this button here that kind of turns everything on And you notice the fan's like full blast right now. Um, just want to kind of demonstrate something. When you push the voice recognition button, satellite radio. Excellent. So you notice it when I push the voice recognition button, it dimmed out the loud fan so I can uh, speak to it it can hear me I can hear it and then um, and then it, then it resumes back to the, the loud fan so I'm gonna go ahead and just turn the fan down so it's not interfering with the video as much but um, I just wanted to demonstrate that it is kind of a warm day and so I do have the air conditioner on so hopefully it doesn't interfere too much but anyways um, we do have a matching brown leather steering wheel with the stitching on the inside and um, I like the fact that when vehicles have a certain theme uh, they don't just uh, stick with the black steering wheel and you know even though the rest of the vehicle is a different color uh, some manufacturers just stick with the black steering wheel and every, you know no matter what but um, I'm glad to see this one's brown and it matches the vehicle quite nicely and uh, it does have the, the, the little bolsters here uh, for support while you're driving I guess it gives a little bit of a sporty look as well and also it does have the electric power steering so it's easy very easy to turn and uh, without you know straining the engine much but here on the left side of the steering wheel it is the uh, the cruise control so you've got the um, you can turn it on and off you've got the ability to set it and resume it and uh, it does have the crash mitigation system as well as the adaptive cruise control so uh, so basically has a sensor and it keeps you from a, a certain distance from the vehicle in front of you regardless of what your cruise speed is set it's a pretty advanced system and um, it's very handy and easy to use but it is uh, you know pretty much cutting it edge technology in vehicles nowadays in addition to the lane departure warning, um, the blind spot monitoring, all that good stuff that this vehicle has that, um, that really makes your, your uh, driving experience more enjoyable. And safer, I wanna add. So on this side, you've got your volume control 
Well, before I move on, um, there's your, your voice recognition button like I showed you before, and then there's the hang up your phone. Once you're in a call, you can push that button to, to hang up. Uh, to make a call, you push the voice recognition button and you, um, you know, tell the system to call a certain person or whatever. All right, so back to this side. Uh, you've got your volume button there to the right. So basically I can turn the volume up there. I can also, um, you know, these buttons here correspond with this little menu system between the gauges. So I can kind of scroll through and get different information um, on that screen. It even tells me the tire pressure and all that. Um, so I just want to kind of show you different things that's possible there. Then you've got your speedometer and your, um, your RPMs and all that stuff. So that's pretty much standard. And I just want to point out um, that when you're when you're looking at looking at gas gauges, there's a let's see if it'll focus. That little triangle there you see to the right, it's aiming in the direction of the, where the fuel door is. Um, so if you're ever in a vehicle, not all of them have it, but most do. They have a little triangle. It looks like a triangle, not an arrow, but it's actually an arrow pointing to the direction of which side the fuel door is on. So keep that in mind if you're in a vehicle that you're not used to driving and you need to go get gas and you pull up the pump, you're like, oh, wait a minute, which side it is? Um, look for that little triangle and that'll help you out. Alrighty, so moving on over here, um, right above the touch screen, you can turn off the lane departure warning button here. You can turn off the uh, traction control button uh, there, all the, these are automatically on until you turn them off. Same thing with the parking sensors, you could turn those off as well. And there's your four way flashers for emergencies or whatever. All right, so here's your touch screen. You can see it has icons here on the home screen. You've got audio, it'll take you to the, uh, the basically the, the what your, your radio is doing. And then I can um, you know, push the home button again. It goes back here, your phone, uh, navigation. We can see what the map looks like here. And um, so basically, it's kind of like a computer in that it has different icons. And uh, some of them you know, relies on your cell phone to be paired, like the Pandora and the text, uh, stuff like that. But the uh, OnStar system does not. It does have its own wireless connection for that. Then you've got some redundant buttons down here. Um, radio, there's the home button there. Um, you know, you always go back, you can inject your CD, which it does have a CD player. Volume, and tune through the, through the stations or tracks there. And then down here, we've got two touch screens. One on the left, one on the right. One for driver, one for passenger. And you see it's, it's got a temperature set, which I'm gonna adjust a little bit. Adjust that down. And you can sync these, um, you can sync them to where they're not uh, separate. So by pushing this button, they're both be the same. However, if I want to, <clears throat> if I want to change the passenger side, all I have to do is just push this button and it unsyncs them and, it, and uh, it's more precise to the passenger side. You also have heated seats here in the front. There's the controls for the passenger, the driver and passenger. Um, and you can turn the climate control off here if you wanted to. And you can push the automatic button and kind of set the temperature and let it do its, let us kind of do its thing anyway, whatever you want to do there. And this is a little pocket storage pocket with a power supply, 12 volt. There's the shifter. And this is pretty cool because I'm going to go ahead and just put it in reverse. So you can see the backup camera pops up here on the screen and you've got you can see there's a um there's lines there are moving when i turn the steering wheel and that gives you an estimated trajectory hopefully you can see a little bit of a glare and um so as you turn the steering wheel it gives you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle as you're backing up and uh so that way you and also the size too it gives you an estimated size because it is a wide angle lens back there so it distorts the view a little bit in order to give you more uh viewing angle so moving down here that's neutral that's drive and that's your normal position you're just driving around now if you need to change gears you can put it over here into manual mode and you can cycle through the gears by bumping it sort of like a ratchet shifter 
So, and you can see what gear you are in there. So I can go, it's only gonna go so far. It's not gonna go too far out of range uh, to avoid messing up the transmission of the engine. But um, then you just go back in the into drive there, like that. <clears throat> parking brake, this is an electric parking brake. You pull it up, it engages, push it down, disengages. Little storage pocket there for some coins or whatever. Under this little roll top desk type thing, opens up, you got two cup holders. One's a little bit deeper than the other to accommodate different size cups and bottles. Then you've got this armrest, um, and this armrest also lifts up, and you've got some little uh, connectivity place here. You've got two USB ports, an auxiliary input, as well as an SD card input there. 12 volt power supply there, and then you've got some storage space back here to put your junk out of the way. Glove compartments felt lined. All right, so here's the rear view mirror. And it does have the OnStar buttons there and the SOS basically for emergencies and also um, some uh, assistance button there. It will use the, uh, you know, you, you can use this, it'll use a cellular connection that the actual vehicle has. So up here, uh, you got your little tap lights here. So you can have individual lights. Uh, you can turn all of them, the whole, all the lights in the vehicle on that way. Uh, it's center when it's flat like that. It just does it when the doors open and then the turn the lights keep the lights from coming on at all You just turn it that way These three buttons are for your garage door opener if you have one and uh, So the visors have lights and mirrors Same thing on the other side now this one does have a sunroof So this part is manual so I just manually slide that back like that so and then I can flip it up like that or I can slide it back I can close it back all right and then I can close it like that if I want to This is something I forget to do frequently, is just to give you a, a zoom out of the big picture. Sometimes I get too focused on de close up details, so. <clears throat> so let's take, out, let's take a look at the window sticker. All right, this is the 2.0 liter turbo, four cylinder, six speed transmission. And feel free to use the pause button here. I'm going to kind of scroll through here. All right, let's take a look under the hood. under here move it to the in there move it to the right that's it all right and once you get it up a certain point it just lifts right up you can see it has a heat shield on the underside of the hood and that's for the um, uh, I guess to protect that but also this one has a turbo so I'm not sure if that contributes to more heat or something like that but there's the turbo right there on the front of the engine you can see it's got the heat shield there. This is the Ecotec 2.0. Alright, 
right there you have it 2015 Buick Regal in red and if I missed anything there's anything you could add to this vehicle please let me know if there's anything I got wrong if you have any experience with a vehicle like this please uh, leave it in the comment section and um, if you could help me support my channel I'd really appreciate it uh, I'm trying to improve the quality and frequency of the videos so if you can you know help me out any way you can also if you can subscribe share the videos like all that stuff I'd really appreciate that as well and thank you to Hyatt Buick GMC in Myrtle Beach South Carolina for allowing me to check out such an awesome vehicle thanks for watching see you next time